I've always been fascinated by the incredible journey of human life, from the moment of conception to birth. It's a process that's both commonplace and miraculous, happening countless times every day across the world. But how does it all begin? How does a single cell transform into a fully formed human being ready to enter the world? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take a wild ride through nine months of human development. Let's start at the very beginning. When sperm meets egg, it's not just a simple collision. It's a precisely choreographed dance of biology. The sperm, one of millions released during intercourse, has to navigate through the hostile environment of the vagina and uterus. Only the strongest and healthiest make it to the fallopian tube where the egg is waiting. But even then, it's not over. The egg is surrounded by a protective layer that the sperm has to penetrate. Once a single sperm manages to break through, the egg immediately changes its outer layer to prevent any other sperm from entering. Now that we have our zygote, things start happening fast. The zygote begins to divide, doubling its cells about every 12 to 15 hours. As it divides, it travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus. By the time it reaches the uterus, about five to seven days after fertilization, it's no longer a single cell, but a hollow ball of cells called a blastocyst. The blastocyst then implants itself in the uterine wall, where it will continue to grow and develop. Once implantation occurs, the cells of the blastocyst start to specialize. Some will form the placenta. Around week eight, the embryo becomes a fetus, and this is when things really kick into high gear. The basic structures are in place, and now it's time for growth and refinement. The fetus starts to look more human-like, with limbs elongating and facial features becoming more distinct. In the second trimester, the fetus becomes much more active. It can move its limbs, hiccup, and even suck its thumb. The nervous system continues to develop, and the fetus begins to respond to sounds from the outside world. By week 20, you might be able to feel the baby's movements. The third trimester is all about growth and maturation. The baby gains weight rapidly, its lungs prepare for breathing air, and its brain continues to develop at an astonishing rate. As we approach the end of pregnancy, the baby is almost ready for its grand entrance. The bones of the skull remain soft and flexible to allow for easier passage through the birth canal. The baby usually settles into a head-down position, preparing for birth. Incredibly, by now the baby's brain has around 100 billion neurons, almost as many as it will have as an adult. Meanwhile, the mother's body is also preparing for birth. The cervix begins to soften and thin out, a process called effacement. Hormonal changes trigger the onset of labor, leading to contractions that will help push the baby out into the world. After about 40 weeks of incredible growth and development, that single cell has become a fully formed human being, ready to take its first breath and begin its life outside the womb. And there you have it, the incredible journey from a single cell to a newborn baby, all in just nine months. It's mind-blowing when you think about the complexity and wonder of human biology. Every time I consider this process, I'm amazed all over again. From the molecular dance of fertilization to the intricate development of organs and systems, every step is crucial and beautifully orchestrated. It really puts into perspective how extraordinary each and every one of us is.